Jalen Freiberg was well liked and athletic. The football player named to his high school's homecoming court just one week ago. But on Friday, Freiberg opened fire on a crowded lunchroom, killing one girl and badly wounding four other students before taking his own life. I was getting a whole bunch of texts, hearing different things, and I don't know, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around, you know, because you see it on news all the time about school shootings and you never really expect that it's going to be your school. Detectives confirmed a school worker attempted to stop the gunman before he turned the gun on himself. Please understand that this continues to be an active homicide investigation. So there's still a lot of work to do. Um, we want to make sure that we do this right. We want to make sure that we have all of the right answers. And that's what we're going to do by taking our time, doing it thoroughly and providing information only after it is complete. Witnesses said the shooter was methodical as he moved through the cafeteria. I heard like six shots go off. I turned around to hear what, figure out where it came from, saw people ducking under the tables, and then I decided to run. Two of the victims were taken to Providence Regional Medical Center with head wounds and were listed in critical condition Saturday. I will say that the next three days are going to be crucial. Uh, these, these young people are being monitored moment by moment. According to local media, family members have confirmed the other two victims, Andrew Freiberg and Nate Hatch, were the gunman's cousins. Both are being treated at another area hospital. Investigators are still trying to determine the motive behind the attack. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.